I'm going to show you today how to customize the one of the alternate layers that are included in some of my shadow boxes. The most popular one for doing this is my Mother or Roses um, layered shadow box. And I'm going to pull that into here and show you how to do it. First we're going to upload the file. I'm in Cricut Design Space since most of my customers are seem to be using the, the design space software it's not great but it's going to do the job so go in to upload an image click that browse the files go to where your file lives um, I'm assuming you've already downloaded and unzipped the folder ex exported your SVG file and the one that you need that has the alternate layers in it is called Mother Shadow Box Unstacked with all alternate names SVG. We're going to open that. And it looks like this and it has a ton of layers, six of which are what we're going to actually use to create the box, but you have all of these alternate layers. So tell it that yes, yes indeed, we want that one. And now click on that and bring it into your Design Space Canvas. It pulls it in at 8, eight by 8 inches because that's the size that typically you'll want to make your shadow box. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see the layers. So we have all these different layers. This is the mother one, the word mother is the kind of your okay this is the one you want to use it's the one I've used in the photos but uh, maybe you want to put somebody else's name in there I do uh, actually have these options here uh, for mom grandma and mom but we also have this blank layer that has nothing in it and that's the one that we want right now so first of all I'm gonna ungroup these come over here on the right hand side in the layers column and ungroup and hide everything except for this one. Pull it off over here. Everybody else gets to go away so that the screen is uncluttered. So pull this over into here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And now what we've got is an 8 by 8 square with a hole in the middle that's centered right there and that's what you want. So I'm going to start off by actually by making this a lighter color just so it's easier to distinguish where the edges are and for when I put my text on here which I'm going to do right now. So I've got a text box. Um, I want to put the name Susan in here. I actually don't know Susan, but I'm sure she's a lovely person. Choose your font. I am not a big fan of, uh, well, the, the Cricut fonts are great, but I have, I have my own favorite fonts that I use all the time. For something like this, especially for using for paper, you want something that's kind of stout. You don't want a little skinny, wimpy font because it's just, it's not going to hold together and cut well for you. So I'm looking for, I have a lot of fonts on my computer, I'm looking for one that's called Hucklebuck. Um, you can use Lobster is a, good, is a good font choice for this. Just anything that's going to have, see this right here, perfect. Now as typical, um, when you pull something into Design Space, this, this, the kerning is bad. So we're going to fix that. Go up here to letter space, squish those over do, 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 to where they should be. And for paper cutting, you want that anyway. So now they're all touching. We can pull them a little further apart, but you want to make sure that each of these tail pieces here are touching. And that's going to work. So we're going to click off of that and pull Miss Susan over here to the center of the box. Now as you can see, wow that was just about perfect. What you want is something that's going to pull in 
into here. Let me actually go a little bit bigger here. Um, so that you've got the tail piece over here or the each letter the letters on each side need to overlap this circle so that when you weld them together it creates one lovely piece that's a little skimpy but it'll probably still be okay if you wanted to pull it up a little bit bigger you'd still be all right um, let's make this a different color and see if it's gonna If it's still readable, see this this here. You kind of need that space to to distinguish where the N is. That's I think that's a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and weld that. Or if you want to be able to use this same template later um, and change, or you're doing more than just one name, you're doing several. Um, duplicate this over here in the duplicator thinger and scooch it over to the side and leave it there because by leaving it like that without ungrouping it or without welding it you can change the text in that again we make that to a different color again so you can see it so now if we decide that we want a different word you can use the same set the same stuff and um, a different name in there. You still have to resize it. Looks like you need to squish it back together again. But but if, by keeping it that way, you can do you can do multiples at a time, and it's not quite as kind of time consuming. For all intents and purposes, and for what we're doing today, I'm just going to delete that. So now I got Susan. She's looking good. She's happy. She likes it where she is. Now we're going to weld this because if you don't. When you bring it onto your mat, all your letters will, well, I'll show you what they'll do. They will do, they'll do this, but they will be cut separately. And so, and that's, you don't want that. You want it to be all one piece. So let's weld it. And now, I'm also going to, I'm just going to sit that there for a minute because I'm going to show you something else that you can do to make this a little bit more stable so you don't have just this strip of stuff across here. You can curve this if you want it to go up or down or do something cute and fun. Um, but Okay, we like that right there. Now I'm going to go over here in the shapes pull up a heart and I'm going to make it considerably smaller pull it over here now I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm gonna center it on that square and actually you can select both of them the square and the heart and align it so that they are centered horizontally. Do I have both of those? I do. You're centered horizontally. Now I'm going to take this same heart again, duplicate it, make it a little bit smaller, push it down a little bit smaller still, and put it into the center of the first heart, like so. You can do the, the alignment thing or eyeball it, whichever works best for you, how, depending on how confident you feel. And uh, select just the two things and then go down here on the bottom and do a slice. Now it looks like it didn't do anything, but it did. So take that away and you've got the hollow, cent the hollow center. Delete those two that we don't need anymore and put this back into the center of that square. Let's align it again. Okay, so now I'm going to bump it up a little bit so that it um, goes up here and touches the bottom of those of that word. It it just basically gives it some structure. Let me make these all black. It gives it some structure and makes it so it's not quite so flimsy. 
Now what we want to do is select all of those, except I want to select all of those and in a different program I would be able to select all of those but to weld them but this program will only let you do two at a time so we're gonna weld the heart and the square and again if you're doing more than one of these save this at this point make a duplicate of it and set it off to the side so that you can put a different name inside of there I'm not doing that, so I'm just going to put that right there. Okay, now we have Susan. We have this other piece, and I've selected both of them. I'm going down here. My screen doesn't really show all the little buttons down here, but I'm I'm choosing the weld button over here. If you're on a if you're on an iPad or a, a tablet or a phone, they might be in a different place. It might be down at the bottom here. You'll just have to, the, the action is the same, so you just have to look for the right um, tool. So those are all selected. I think I have to select them again because I clicked off, but select them and weld them. Now when I choose to make it, I'm going to go over here and this is actually all one piece. Let me go back and make this a different color so you can see it better. Um, let's go with that color right there and make it and you can see that it's all in color and it's all welded together and that is how it's done now you'd go back in here and select the layers that you want to cut you need the top layer let me back out of here so you can see what we've got you need the top layer and the second layer and the third layer fourth don't need that one let's leave it off and then there's the back so this one slips in right here change up your colors decide which layer you want to have is what color or if you're going to have them all the same color and then send it to cut and I hope that's helpful it helps you be able to to utilize any file where you need to do that but in particular the ones that you purchase for me which I truly appreciate